Lydia accepts you lot found the tree project. Oh! Actually, I found I've got some really interesting royal ancestors. You haven't got in the family to fill a phone box between you. I've got my mum. Yeah, well, uh, at least I've got someone. And Lou might as well. Might you, Lou? Mm. Fostered by this lot. No chance. Hey, give it back! You can't use them. They're not family. Not yet. But after this picnic, who knows? <laughs> Me. They'll turn up this morning all smiley smiley and that by tea time, everyone will hate you. Then the two of you will have something in common. So why don't you tell us all about the joys of fostering their Miss Know-it-all? <laughs> the promises, the forevers, and then of course the dumping. Who's that right woman that dumped you back here again? <laughs> anyway, she's history now. Just like you lot will be after the picnic. And Louise will be all alone again. Just like you were, Tracy. What did I say? I'm not alone. I'm not. Hi! What do you think you're doing? We're bored. Yeah, B O R D, bored. That's great. You can both help with the gardening. <coughs> Hello? Big family's the worst. They'll treat you like a slave. She'll be fine. You'll see. Well, if by some miracle she is, that'll be the last you see of her. <laughs> and you've definitely confirmed the time. Twice. Twice? I'd have done it at least three times, and then I'd Look, have... Look, I know this is my first case, but you can trust me, dude. <gasps> just relax, Elaine. Sorry. Just relax. It's just fine. <laughs> Oi! Justine, coming shopping? Yeah, in a bit. No, now. She's seeing me off. Oh, I need a hand holding, does she? What are you going to do when she leaves? Even if I was fostered, we'd still be best friends. <laughs> For how long? Forever. Right, Justine? Yeah, right. <laughs> Forever. For a month, maybe a week. More likely she'll walk out the gates and won't even remember what old what's name looks like. That's rubbish, isn't it, Justine? <laughs> I'm off. Coming. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, I'm fine. Nathan's got everything sorted out, haven't you? Yeah, sure. I've got phones, documents, mm -hmm. and uh... Louise. Come on, Dad. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Okay. Come on, kids. Be down in a moment. I'm sure, everything's going to be fine. You're on. Well done. Yeah. I'm not going, and that's that. They're great people. Sure. You'd fit in perfectly. Just think, a real family. But what about friends? Justine's my best friend. At least she was until this stupid foster thing came up. I hate it. Oi, Smiley. Can anyone use these stairs, or are you saving them for a special occasion? Sorry. Oh, I can't get Louise to go on this picnic. Of course you can't. You're only a trainee social worker. Even the trained ones are rubbish. You need help from a real expert. Someone with experience. That's an offer, I'll take it. I'm not cheap. Oh, I couldn't pay. Ice cream? Possible. Coke? Sure. And I get to go on the snaffle picnic with my client. Oh, no, I couldn't. Suit yourself. I tried. Hang on. I won't go. I don't blame you, stupid fostering trips. Real family's the only thing that matters. My mum and I used to rule over a happy land. But then, one day, the evil social workers invaded. There's only one thing to do.
Since then, I've been on hundreds of useless fostering trips. Never again. Right. Mind you, some kids go on these trips just for the free ice cream and coke. Imagine that, using people just to get what you want. And to avoid one of Nathan's corned beef meatball lunches. Hey, Tracy. Hmm? Hi, Trace. I've got a free day. I can't I stop. Could... Louise is entering fostering hell, and I have to protect her interests. Tracy, you wouldn't mess it up for Louise, would you? Of course not. It's a fostering. It'll mess up by itself. You know that. Yeah. Well, Louise might be luckier. Get real. You're a PC whiz, aren't you? Oh, I wouldn't say that. It's just our PC crashed, and I still have homework to finish when I get back. Are you sure it's okay, Tracy? Come with you and everything. No problem. Bye, Granddad. Now you sure you're going to be all right, Dad? It's fine. I'll wait here. You behave. Me? They won't even know I'm here. What's this? Computer games? On a day like this, there's more to life than computer games. Yeah, right. In my day, I'd have been learning some survival skills. Whoa! I'll be back! Like catching wild animals? Wild, wild animals. animals. There. Now, we just wait. Yeah, a couple of decades should do it. What animal's gonna be dumb enough to fall into that? foster kids out in these conditions. Oh, she's the first one. Oh, I see. Well, they've got a lot to learn, haven't they, Lou? You have to look after kids like us. Spoil us even. You know, lots of ice cream, coke, that sort of thing. Really? For sure. Or we could turn ugly. And believe me, you wouldn't want to see that. So, do you have a regular job? Seven days a week. And wages? Excellent. So, how much? 250. 250,000 a year, and we only get one titchy bit of cake each. No, not two pounds fifty an hour. You couldn't look after my mate on that. That's rubbish money. It's not bad. Other paper rounds only pay two quid. Hey, no one's taking this fostering thing seriously. Oh, some of us are. Yeah. <laughs> right. Now, we only fire it away from the buildings, OK? Of course. How perfectly sensible. Never forget, with any weapon, the key words are discipline and safety. Got that? Yeah, discipline and safety. Whatever you say. Try to that tree over there, Bounce. I said we only fire it the other way. Bet he can't hit it. Me? I was the best shot in our street. I bet he could hit it. No chance. Which tree? That one over there, behind the summer house. Just you watch. I'm not letting my mate move in with people I know nothing about. You two could be monsters. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> this might be just a big laugh for you, but it's not for the likes of me and Lou. Imagine being in a kid's home all your life. You've got no idea what it's like. Yes, I have. I know exactly what it's like. That's why I've always wanted a house full of kids. Happy kids, like her. So, do we get your approval? Don't rush me. I'll let you know. So what else can you show us? Well, there's starting a fire. Yeah! No, I better not. OK. See you. Yeah, this survival stuff yawns. Yeah. Hang on. I mean, I, I shouldn't. It could be... Well, you might... Oh, let's find a couple of sticks. Yeah! yeah. The 
Hi, Duke. How's the garden? Oh, it's fine. It's in great shape. Considering. <laughs> each. So I saved mine for you. We'll still be mates, won't we? Half each? I was promised two ice creams. I got one and a hat shell out of a kid. Oh, family life. You can keep it. Yeah, yeah. Still, Louise deserves some love. Yeah, we all do. That's true. So now we've fixed the PC, you could finish your homework. Oh, thanks a million. <laughs> Do remember, viewers, watching TV gives you square eyes. Not! But aren't you going to miss us? No, Justine, because you'll be coming to visit me all the time. But it won't be the same. No, it'll be better. We'll be friends because we want to be, not just because we're stuck in here with no one else to talk to. Yeah. Hiya! No one sense of her anyway. Hiya, darling. Can I have this? Yeah, no problem. I got you that, but my dad took me to the fair. Justine, it's only things, old dumping ground things I won't need anymore. <laughs> well, call me sentimental, but I kind of prefer that when bikers are scary. <laughs> Demon. I hope that monstrosity isn't still going to be taking up valuable space when Louise's new family arrive. Monstrosity? I love you know I'm on a diet. Don't mind her, she's not very good with grown-ups. Can I have a go? Please. I'll be careful, I promise. Of course you can, Tracy. Yes. Just show me your driving license and we'll be away! Uh ha -huh ha, -huh. meet Duke, King of Comedy. Um, so, uh, Amber's being thrown out. No, thanks, sir. It's a meeting to review Amber's position. But we've still got lots of work to do with her. Bouncer, don't make this into your problem. Hello, Bouncer. Are we ready? Mm. And I thought you were nice. Shall we? Ah, Jenny, Elaine. I've been expecting you. Look, Amber, I'm fully prepared to admit that it's partly my fault. I thought we'd be able to make a difference. Maybe I was wrong. 
I thought we'd be able to help you help yourself. Maybe I was wrong. You thought you were good at your job. Maybe you were wrong. It's just that we don't think you've been trying hard enough to get on with people. Chocolate thief! Go clean the traffic! <laughs> and you two can stop spying on me as well! Don't know what you mean. All we're saying is that maybe you'd be happier elsewhere. I'll think about it. Is it me or has this room just suddenly become very cold? Typical. They don't even have the courage to make a simple decision. At least somewhere else might get treated like a grown-up. Yeah, a grown-up criminal. <laughs> <laughs> they know what they want. They want me to give them a good reason for throwing me out. Well, far be it for me to disappoint anybody. You! No! <laughs> the old mouse! The little mousey! Oh, it's horrible! All blood and guts! Oh, I feel sick. I can't see anywhere. have a nightmare. But what about all the good times? All the fights and disappointments and people laughing at you at school because you wear rubbish clothes and have been a stinky children's home with... stinky children. I don't stink. I smell like cornflakes. It just... It just came to life like... Like it was invaded by aliens. It's all right, Bouncer, he knows. What's the verdict, Colin? Oh, no worries, mate. Just call it natural wear and tear, all right? See? I told you it was nothing serious. She's just having a bit of fun. You should give Amber a break. Hi, babe. Yeah, it's me. Uh, you best bring me Category C toolkit. Yeah, it's that bad. See? Amber's a lovely kid, deep down. It's just, if we spend too much time trying to sort one person out, it's not for everyone else. But I don't mind. Yes, you do, Bouncer. You just don't realise it yet. Hi, Saliba. Hi, Duke. Thanks, love. Amber? <laughs> Are you purposely trying to get yourself thrown out? Wow. Is he yours? Do I look like a girl? <laughs> this is yours. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Fancy a spin? Yeah, I don't think so. <gasps> Duke, please. Well, she'll need a helmet. There's insurance and, and, and health and safety. Not to mention the fact that she's supposed to be being punished. Well, it's okay, love. Full of forgiveness, me. Take good care of her. I promise. Well, I, I really don't think it's a good idea. I mean, look at them! Well, she has passed her advanced test. Thanks, Duke. Don't worry, son. She hasn't had an accident for, uh, oh, weeks. Well, I wash my hands of the whole thing. Hi, Tracy. Almost ready to go. Can't wait. Oh, just remembered. Mr. and Mrs. Morris phone. They've made a mistake. They want me, not you. <laughs> um. Never mind, Lou. I know what it's like. 
The number of times I've had to say goodbye to this place. I should give my own revolving door. I'm sorry, Tracy. It's just I wanted to go without any fuss, without anyone getting upset. No, that was never going to happen. Not here. People get upset when Duke buys the wrong kind of beans. <laughs> no, you should make as much fuss as possible. Is that all your dumping ground rubbish? It's just stuff that reminds me of stuff. We should have a ceremony. Set fire to it all. No, better not. Wait. Oh, yes! We come to lot 12 in the Louise Govan leaving auction. An exercise book containing some very disturbing <laughs> drawings of members of the Dumping Ground staff. What am I bid? I'll take charge of that, thank you very much. Sold to the lovely lady in the cheap cardigan. <laughs> and on to our next item a monster mask. <gasps> Whoa, well, well. Very nice. I'm afraid that this item has suddenly been withdrawn from the sale. What? What? No, I wanted that. I, uh, I just taking that. my feet. And onto our last item, a small battered teddy bear named... Tony. Tony Bear. Could not be serious. Uh, anyway, what am I bid? Dolly. He's cute. Any advances on cute? No. I mean, I don't want to give him away. I remember. It was a present from the staff. It was her first Christmas. She cried for hours. I... I don't want to leave. Louise? You're talking like a crazy person. You have to leave. Yeah, I, I mean, if someone as boring as you can get busted, then there's hope for all of us. What? Tracy? Tracy? Tracy. That was amazing. You're welcome. What's happening here then? No, one of the kids is leaving. And your family. Goody two shoes tight. It's like the people miss when they go. Wouldn't they miss you? Come round for dinner on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're not going to forget me. Stacy, isn't it? Stacy Baxter? Hey! Are you sure you should be doing that? Celine the Payne's car, that horrible social worker. Oh, what, the one that's going to decide if you get sent somewhere else? Do they have children's homes in the North Pole? <laughs> Look, Colin, I'm really sorry about the mower. It's OK. It's good as new. Amber? There's a perfect family out there for everyone. And the hardest thing is finding them. Yes, Tracy, and you always tell me I'm talking bobbins. They look like... like an ordinary girl with ordinary grown-ups. The ordinary girl is Amber. How weird is that? You know, I think I've just had a brilliant idea. 